At the Axminster factory and head office, a new carpet design is developed on computer. Pattern and color ideas can be visualized and changed to the requirements of the customer or designer. Prior to weaving, a simulated sample of the carpet called a kibby is produced. This allows the designer and specifier to make a final check that the color combinations work together in carpet form before weaving commences. Axminster designs are influenced by market demands and fashion trends, with further additional concepts available for specific client needs. The more modern looms are directly linked to the design computer and select tuft colors electronically. This configuration provides the perfect solution for weaving one-off bespoke designs. The more traditional designs are transferred to mechanical templates called jacquard cards, a machine-readable array of holes representing the color of each single carpet tuft. Several hundred of these cards are laced together to form each carpet design. The incoming cones of yarn are subjected to further inspection, including color comparison against a calibrated standard. The yarn is then rewound onto smaller bobbins, which are in turn placed into a feed array for the loom called a creel. Up to 9,000 bobbins in a creel can feed a single loom. The latest development at Axminster is the introduction of the smart creel. Speed of turnaround is especially important in the case of carpet for commercial installations and we have gained a worldwide reputation for producing bespoke carpet for many prestigious hotels, restaurants and public buildings in a timescale not achievable when using conventional looms. Part of the base of the carpet is the jute weft, grown and spun in Bangladesh. The weft is passed between alternate parallel cotton yarns or warps. The yarn is fed into carriers which are controlled by the jacquard. A colour is selected by the jacquard which causes the corresponding yarn to be offered up by the carrier to the gripper. The grippers then draw the pre-selected lengths of yarn which are cut by a series of knives. The resulting tufts are positioned between the warps by the grippers and retained by each pass of the weft. In this way, a woven lattice of tightly packed cords and wool tufts build up to form a carpet at the rate of three to five meters per hour under the expert supervision of the weaver. If a problem occurs due to an end of yarn breaking, sensitive cameras spot the break, stop the loom, and allow the weaver to make the appropriate repairs. The quality of the carpet is determined by the number of tufts per square inch, the count or weight of the yarn and the length of pile. At Axminster, we make various qualities suitable for a variety of end uses with anything from 30 to 80 tufts per square inch. This latter figure equates to 128,000 tufts per square meter or in excess of 3 million tufts in the average domestic room. The newly woven carpet is lightly brushed, then gently steamed before tip shearing removes any high points in the pile to give a smooth, level finish. It then moves on to the first of several rigorous inspections. Highly trained inspectors view and, where necessary, highlight any imperfections in the woven pile. Quality statistics are input at this and other stages in the process. Any minor faults are then corrected by hand in a way which replicates the weaving process before moving on to large passing tables for further inspection or correction if required. The carpet is then brushed to remove any foreign matter and squared for alignment and symmetry. After further steaming to burst open the lush woolen pile, a coating of vinyl is applied to the back of the carpet 
to assist tuft retention and ease cutting and fitting. Further brushing is followed by a second and final tip shearing operation to ensure a smooth, level finish. A meticulous final examination carried out by our most senior inspectors then follows on a specially illuminated tilting table to ensure perfection. Barcode identification enables traceability of the carpet's processes and materials at this and every other production stage. It is this level of quality control and manufacturing standards in a genuine Axminster carpet of which its makers are justly proud. Large stocks of carpets are held at the warehouse and their movements and allocations are controlled by a computerized management system. Carpets are cut and sized to order requirements before rolling and final packaging. The carpets are finally dispatched by the company's own fleet of vehicles, ensuring prompt and reliable delivery direct from the factory to an Axminster approved stockist. Fitting of an Axminster carpet to BS5325 is vitally important. The use of a very good quality underlay to BS5808 is highly recommended. Daily vacuuming with an upright, beta bar type of cleaner is essential for maintaining the carpet's appearance and the integrity of its pile. Stains should be removed according to our care of carpets booklet or if in doubt cleaned professionally. With a little help from its owner the centuries of tradition, quality and workmanship woven into an Axminster made in Axminster will ensure retention of its good looks and luxurious character through a lifetime of service.